How's that spotlight coming, Mike? Almost there, boss. Good, because Gotham needs Batman. Yeah, about that. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, can the city afford to have its crime handled by a man whose identity we don't even know? But I think the relevant question is this. Can we afford not to? No, that wasn't it. I was thinking, you got this big light, right? The bat signal. Right, 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 right. And it, you know, it's got a bat on it. Yeah. And then you just have it on this, what I'm pretty sure is a publicly accessible rooftop. I'll have to check on that. It's just that, you know, Batman is notoriously tech forward. Like there's nothing else, maybe a signals, or, or even go back, maybe a pager or the radio, you know, like, like in the war when they had all the codes and, you know, they're not gonna crack those codes. These the villains aren't that smart. No, no, we already have the signal. There's no reason to reinvent the wheel. Okay, just saying. Well, you know, say the penguin. Fiend. Yeah, hate him. Or the Joker. Horrible, fiends. Worse, really. Awful. Say that they break out of prison. It seems very unlikely. Say they do. And then they take a school hostage. We would alert Batman using the bat signal. You're just gonna let him know that there's crime somewhere. Mike, it's like a check engine light for the city of Gotham. A city roughly the size of Chicago. It's twice the size of the greater Chicago metropolitan area. Right. You see the problem here? It's an efficient means to alert Batman to crime. And most importantly, Mike, you can see it from anywhere in the city. He lives in a cave, everybody knows that. So then how is he gonna see a signal that is above ground when he's always underground? I've not considered that. One would assume he has a staffer that stands on the roof with binoculars, but, I guess. Okay, so what happens if there's crime during the day? Gotham passed ordinance 532 that restricts crime to the hours of 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. Well, wouldn't you just wanna restrict all crime? With that, no, that wouldn't work because they're they're criminals, they would ignore that. So we've asked them to commit crime at night Well, we can use a fucking bat signal. Okay, yeah, that checks out. Mike, here's the thing. We've already got the bat signal. The bat signal works, we've got the funding for it. If we don't use the bat signal, the city's gonna cut our bat signal funding. Bat signal funding? Yeah. How much does this cost? It's about five million a year, we lease it. From the city? My cousin Mitch has a spotlight factory. We, he cuts us a deal. You getting a kickback from this? Oh shit, an explosion or something. Could be Two-Face, better turn that on. Is it on? Yeah, don't look directly into it. Okay, turn it up. It's up, it's up. Can you turn it up all the way, please? Yeah. Can you like add more electricity? That's not how that works. Is it on that building? The one to the left. There? Oh shit, sorry. I get it. You see the ears now? Is that? Oh, yeah. All right. That's, just keep it on. Two face, my friend. You're in for a world of hurt in an hour and 45 minutes when this is brought to the attention of the Batman. Oh, no shit, it's on that building. Well. No crime today. I always love a good Batman sketch because a lot of my family's in prison. Keep watching stuff like this on Free the People.